How's it going everyone? Ben here. Oh wait, um, let me uh, put a shirt on. Jokes aside, how's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood transgender medical student. And today we're going to be revu re reviewing my one year recovery process after having top surgery. Technically, I'm at 1.3 years. It's been about three months since the last video I made. And a lot of stuff has happened. And before I get to the nitty gritty details of the actual video, I wanna update you guys on my life and why I haven't been posting videos for the last three months. First, I took my first medical licensing exam to be a board certified physician in the United States this summer. So I had to study for that. It was really stressful. Didn't really have time to make videos during that time. Second, I started my clinical rotation soon after taking my licensing exam. And my first clinical rotation was internal medicine, meaning I had to work around 80 hours a week at Atlanta's biggest hospital. So didn't really leave a lot of time for making videos there. But also in addition to that, I was going through a lot. I was going through a lot of transphobia, uh, life changes, and it just made it really hard to make videos. And lastly, I ended a two year engagement and relationship with my partner and that honestly put me in a depressive episode. I wanna be really vulnerable about that. My partner and I are still friends, but it's definitely a big life change. We were planning on getting married. So I, I had to make drastic changes in my life and adjust to them. So now I'm going to be going back to making regular videos. But one of the biggest milestones that I had this summer that I can be really, really happy about is that I hit my one year milestone after having top surgery. And I wanted to share the results with you all and show you how much progress I've made, especially because there's not a lot of representation on brown skin being represented in the media, on YouTube, on top surgery results. So I know everyone is waiting for the big reveal at the end, but I'm the kind of person who wants to give you the results straight away. So this is how I looked one year, 1.3 years post-op. And boy, am I super, super, super happy with the results that I've gotten. Oh my God. I did not imagine that I would look this good one year po post-op. Uh, one year and three months more specifically, but I've been putting a lot of work into my scar care routine. I'll probably have a more in-depth video about that, my complete scar care routine that I have done. I know I covered a little bit of what I was doing before in the beginning stages, but I'll do my one year scar care routine video in the future. But today we're just gonna be looking at my results over the last year. I've also put a lot of effort into exercising and working out. You can see that my pecs have really, really become defined over the last year. And that's because I've, I've literally been going to the gym every other day, doing the bench press, actually doing compound exercises. And I really am happy with the body that I have right now because when I was a little kid, this is the kind of aesthetic that I was looking for that I saw myself having as an adult. And it feels so good to see that being represented on camera. So looking back into the first month after I had top surgery, you can see that like I look really different back then. Like uh, my scars were brand new. So there was a bit of stitches left over. You can see that there was some embrace tape that I used to help in my first two months of scar healing. You could also see that my nipples have not been pigmented yet in the first month. I mean, they're very pale. They don't look anywhere near the color of the nipples that I had originally before I transitioned. And you can also see that my scars look uneven and right now my scars actually look pretty pretty level to each other and that was because my left breast was a lot bigger than my right breast and that was just how i was born that's just how i developed over time as a young sprouting boy so my left breast was a lot bigger the surgeon had to work with a lot more skin on that side so you had to pull down the skin a little bit more so you can see that the scars looked like they weren't equal, but my surgeon actually did it in a way where as my chest developed over time, it would level out. And you'll see after I've been working out for so long and I evened out the size of my chest, it looks even. I took this next photo at two months and I posted it on Instagram. And you can see that my scars still are a little pinkish, a little pale, 
but it is getting better over time. The stitches have completely gone away and they, they look a lot more appealing. You can see that my nipples are still a little pink. Like they're, they're not quite there yet. They look a little scabby and they look like I had just cut myself and I'm healing from a cut wound. So at three months, not a lot of changes, honestly. I mean, you see this picture and my scars pretty much look the same. They're still not very pigmented. They're kind of pinkish. My, but my nipples are making progress. They're getting a little bit darker. There's still that pale spot in the middle of my right nipple. But um, honestly, not a lot of huge changes in month three. Just my nipples have started to finally get color back again. So next, I took this really poor quality bathroom selfie to celebrate my six month progress picture honestly this picture doesn't really do it justice but you can see that my scars have finally started to look like regular scars it doesn't look super pinkish it's starting to darken it's a little bit lighter than my normal skin tone but it's starting to blend in with my skin my nipples had finally finally started to get super dark actually more dark than they used to be before I had my nipples, you know, reconstructed. But you could see the results were finally starting to show. I was finally starting to see the progress I wanted to see after my top surgery. I will say in the middle where the two scars kind of meet, it got really dark, like really, really dark over there. And it was starting to worry me that I would have permanent hyperpigmentation in the six month mark. That And um, over time that actually has faded, but I still have a little bit of hyperpigmentation where the two scars meet. It's not super ugly, but that's something that I noticed and something that I was worrying about as far as my scar progress in the six month mark. That middle area got really dark. And this was my celebratory one year post-op photo that I posted on Instagram. You can see that I've gotten a lot more buffer over time. My chest has started filling out and that's because I was also going to the gym in addition to scar management. However, I do want to point out one really, really important thing that I've noticed in the last four months in my recovery process. On my right side, you can see that there's a bit of hyperpigmentation on that scar. I mean, like if you just look at that right scar on the, the scar on the right side, there's a bit of hyperpigmentation and it had actually gotten a little bit hypertrophic. It's not a hypertrophic scar per se, but it has gotten a little hypertrophic and one way that I was able to basically kind of lessen the hypertrophicness of it is to do scar massage. Scar massage actually got super helpful at the six month mark when I had stopped using silicone strips for my scar healing. And I realized there was still a lot of tightness in my scars that was preventing me from doing everyday kind of labor and exercising. So I started doing scar massage and it actually softened up a lot of the skin and the scar itself as I've been doing scar massage for the last six months. I do it in the morning for about five minutes and that's all it really needs. And what it really did is help soften up my scars. If there are places that were a little hypertrophic, it helped smooth that area out. And you will see my next photo that I've taken in the last three weeks that hypertrophic area has actually mellowed out and it's starting to look a lot like how my skin looks like surrounding it. So that's pretty much it for my one and three month, year, one year and three month transformation since I've gotten top surgery. I am so, so happy with my results, y'all. Like, I am absolutely grateful for the opportunity that y'all have allowed me to have this top surgery done. Y'all raised around $3,000 for me, and that's what I needed to get the surgery done. I'm incredibly grateful for all of you. I'm still incredibly grateful for my mother and my partner, my friend, uh, for going to me to Texas and helping take care of me. I'm incredibly grateful for all these people in my life that allowed me to have the imagined body that I've always, always wanted for myself, how I imagined myself to look like when I was a kid as an adult. So I'm incredibly grateful. I did the no drains technique with Dr. Alan Doolin in Dallas, Texas. If you are interested in that, I even did a whole vlog kind of style video about my experience going there and having a no drains technique done and explaining the no drains technique and what I did to make sure I healed the best way possible. Please be sure to check that out. I'll, I'll post it 
in, in the end credits or whatever. But if you found this video helpful, if you like this video, please like it, share it with people that may benefit from this video, and I'll see you on the next video. This is Ben.